Hey everyone, so um, I'm going to be filming a review um, and the review will be on the Essence Pure Nude Makeup Natural Finish No Makeup Feel. So let's get started. On Amazon you can purchase this foundation for $4.99 and the description on Amazon is that it is purely natural. This lightweight and silky liquid foundation blends easily for a gorgeous barely there look. The finish is natural and semi-matte, giving off the no makeup, subtle look and feel. Uh, um, it has water listed as its first ingredient. I know that they don't have like that many shades. Let me see. On Amazon, there's a uh, number 10, pure beige, number 20, pure sand, number 30, pure honey. So that's three shades that come up in Amazon. Uh, I have pure honey. So... I don't know if there are more shades than that. I'll make sure to leave the link down below. But if you go on the Essence website, um, it will say on their website about the product that it's a natural nude. The new foundation convinces with its light texture and natural finish. It conceals irregularities of the skin and has a subtle mattifying effect. The liquid formula blends wonderfully with skin for a gorgeous no makeup feeling. So let's look at the claims. Um, this is how it looks. And it has a pump, which is very good. The pump is good. I have no issues with the dispensing product. And this is one pump of it. And it is runny. It's definitely not as runny as the ordinary serum foundation, but it's runny. So it's very like light, lightweight. And it blends really, really nicely. You can use your fingers, or you can use a brush, or you can use a sponge. Um, I really uh, do think it is lightweight. Um, it really makes you feel like there's no makeup on your skin. Um, definitely, it's more of a light coverage. Uh, maybe going towards medium if you build it up. But you definitely cannot get full coverage from this. And even getting medium coverage, you'll probably have to layer it up quite a bit. So this is how it looks. Um, it doesn't conceal like imperfections. Like if you have a pimple, like a really prominent pimple, it's not gonna like hide it. More so it evens out your skin texture. It's definitely not a BB cream or CC cream. Um, it has like more coverage than like a tinted moisturizer. It's definitely not a tinted moisturizer. It does have more coverage than a tinted moisturizer. And it's not a BB cream or CC cream because it doesn't contain like a, um, skincare properties in there. Do good coverage. It does what it says. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't irritate my skin. I have dry, like very sensitive skin. It does not by any means leave me dry or patchy. And it doesn't emphasize like my dry skin or flaky skin. So it's not a matte finish. I mean, it says that it gives you a semi-matte. I guess maybe a semi-matte for me. Um, yeah, I would say semi-matte. Um, when I really, really moisturize and layer hydration, which I usually always moisturize a lot, but when I really, really like layer it on, then I would say like um, a natural finish. Definitely, definitely it is not dewy. Um, natural to semi-matte, depending on your skin texture. Whether it is uh, silky, I don't necessarily think it's like very silky. I just think this is a very, very awesome foundation, especially for the price. I mean, on Amazon, it's $4.99, $4.99, and this foundation is awesome. Like, I really love this foundation. I purchased it um, 2000, 16 when I went back to California um, in 2016 during the summer to visit my family. I go back every year uh, For those of you who don't know I live in China. So Yeah, I live in China. So I go back to California uh, Every summer to visit my family and I purchased it that year and uh, Yeah, I'm just about finished with it and I had it sitting around and I'm like, okay I'm just gonna film a review on it because it's one of the foundations that I've already almost like finished up because I really do use it quite often. I like more of a natural like makeup look rather than heavy um, makeup look. So I definitely think it's really well worth it. Um, just low price, great blendability, uh, does what it says. It's good for like low coverage, minimal coverage, light coverage. Right now, like I said, I have a mixture of these two together. Um, and I actually kind of prefer this one 
as opposed to the serum foundation from The Ordinary. I haven't used it as much, but that's because the shade is really off. It's too yellow for me. Um, if you have any questions um, about the product or any other questions just about other products in general that you would like me to review, um, then just let me know and I'll try my best to answer those questions. And I hope you enjoyed this review and that it was helpful. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye.